One in five Canadians still don't have access to a family doctor. And in some parts of the country, the problem could get worse. In Alberta, doctors are considering leaving health care altogether or moving out of the province. But now a group of physicians there is proposing a fix. Here's CTV's Kathy Lee. The family doctor shortage in Canada creating a crisis situation. More than 6 million Canadians don't have one. It's extremely con uh, concerning. I have children with lots of extra medical and mental health needs, and it's hard enough to have a family physician available for needed referrals. Doctors in Alberta recently highlighting the shortage. We're going to lose more and more family physicians um, if we can't promise them that there's going to be a lifeline at the end of this. That lifeline is a new funding model. The current one makes it unaffordable to run a practice. Maybe they spent 20, 30 minutes with you, then they are now spending probably another 45 minutes to an hour just doing that paperwork right, that doesn't get paid. The Alberta Medical Association found of roughly 1,300 family doctors, 61% considered leaving health care, with nearly half of new doctors considering a move out of the province. We certainly know that people have left for BC, um, and they're going to probably start to leave to other provinces as well. Provinces like BC have a new funding model. There's still a shortage, but that province has seen a boost in family doctors. For Alberta, rural communities are experiencing the brunt of the shortage. Family physicians also work in the hospital, so when they leave, the facility closes. If a doctor is going to leave a practice, I think the, the very least that should be expected is to be offered another doctor. The Alberta Premier says a new funding model is coming before the end of September. The Ontario College of Family Physicians says other ways to retain family doctors is to come up with a strategy to reduce the amount of administrative work and to continue to expand team-based care. Kathy Lee, CCV News, Calgary.